Hello, welcome to the world premiere of the SetView how to sessions. Uh, with me, I've got uh, Luke Davis and I'm Eric Nielsen, all from the Saturn team. Uh, today, we're going to uh, introduce you to SetWin11 and SetView. SetWin11, you need to create your Saturn data, and once we've been in SetWin11 to create our UFV files, we will go into set, set view and look at the data. So over to Luke. Thank you. So if we start up SatWin11, if this version of Sat, SatWin is slightly different to what you're used to, this version is being released in January 2017. So you may not be used to the, the section on the right hand side. In this new version, we find that UFS to USV, SatView, and SatCoder are all available on the Home tab. Within SatWin, before moving on to SatView, we want to use the UFS to UFV module. This module creates a file format that's more useful to SatView. The likes of our, our, our various flow data that we can generate in, P, in P1X to ensure that this can be created in SAT view, we create the UFV file where these parameters are directly coded into it rather than going back to the UFC file to use the cost data to determine this. If we click on this, module, on this module, we simply locate the UFS or UFN file that we want to use. In this case, we want the Epsom 98 network UFS. If we run this, we see that a number of temporary files are created in our file directory. Then from this, they will then be deleted and new FV file with the same file extension will be created for us. At which point we're then able to, to move on to SatView. Yeah, just before you move to SatView, we should probably mention that there's four new parameters in Saturn that you should be using to make your life easier in SatView. And, uh, if you go to the help file, you can search on EPSG and list the topics and you'll find there's an IEPSG and uh, IX shift and an IY shift and an XY factor. And they all must be set in your dat file. And if they are, then they will uh, dictate to set view the location, the geographic location of your data. Now, I think it's time to move on to set view because that's really why we are here, isn't it, Luke? Yep. Oh, I should say the batch files UFS to UFV is available in Saturn 11.3.12 view. So if we now move into set view. Yeah, it takes a short while to open set view that needs to start some databases in the background and stuff. But uh, And when we open the software, we're able to start a new session at which point we can choose our network files. We can open a session file from disk, which we'll see more on later in terms of creating the session file. And we can resume the last session that will, the last time we close the program, it will bring up the, the final point we were. On this occasion, we're starting a new session. To initially open a network, we go to the file menu, hit open network. We browse for our network file in this case, the Epsom 98 network that we created a minute ago. We hit open. You'll see a, a loading menu. Given the size of this network, it loads very quickly. So we now have one network open. We're also in SatView able to open two networks for comparison purposes. On this occasion, we go to file and we hit load secondary assignment. This can also be done on the compare tab where it again says load secondary assignment. This brings up the same menu. We can choose our second UFE file and open that. So we now have two networks open. So that's everything in terms of opening all our network files. Say we can have up to two networks open in SAT view. At the end of the session, if we wanted to save our progress, we have the option to save a session. This is in the form of a, a .xml file, which will again save our progress in terms of the files that we've got open in SatView 
as well as the various things we've got displayed for example bands obviously give your your file a memorable name so for example epsom 98 versus epsom 15 14 14 even sorry yeah. that's okay yeah so you'll see if you go to the file explorer you'll see that you got the next XML file there and you can open that in a text editor and you can see that you got some different file paths there and this is a bit like a um, map info workspace if you're familiar with those it, in that it hasn't got much data in it the data it has in it helps it to know the position of the windows and the views and um, settings of for example bar bands or uh, selections if you if you play with this file uh, much like in map info you might lose all your work so make a backup and uh, you really shouldn't mess with the file uh, editing the file is not supported in the current version and uh, when you do so you'll probably have a lot of fun uh, and i think this is what we wanted to show you in the first uh, how to session of set view uh, join us again in our next take a view on the ui of set win a set view sorry okay thank you bye from me and bye everyone thank you